another interesting English language class. My name is Precious Balogun. Our theme for today is vocabulary development. And our topic is vocabulary associated with home and family life. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to list words representing things in the home. Also, mention correct words for relations. And lastly, identify the words representing activities in the home. Now, the question we'll ask is, what is vocabulary? Vocabulary is a set of well-known words used in a particular language, in a particular context, or a field of study. For example, as a doctor, the words that will be in my vocabulary are words relating to the medical field or the medical sciences. Now, building your vocabulary helps you improve on your spoken and written English. Today, our focus will be on the vocabulary associated with home and family life. Before we move on, what is a home? For me, I would say a home is a safe and comfortable place where people live in. Now, let's take a look at words associated with home. The first we have is house, a building in which people live, especially people who are members of a family. Next, we have the living room. A living room is a room in a house used by everyone for relaxing and entertaining guests. Also, we have furniture. Furniture is a movable object that supports various human activities like sitting, eating, sleeping. Next, we have upholstery. It is a padded textile covering that is mostly fixed on armchairs and sofas. Next, we have shelf. A shelf is a piece of furniture that provides a surface for the storage or display of objects, especially books. Also, we have chair. Chair is a seat that has four legs and a back rest. Also, we have table. A table is a piece of furniture with one or more legs that provides a surface for placing things, eating or writing. Moving on, we have cotton. A cotton is a piece of material used to shut out lights from the window and also beautify a room. Next, we have the dining room. A dining room is a room in the house where meals are eaten. Next, we have dining table. A dining table is a table where meals are eaten. Next, we have kitchen. A kitchen is a room in a house where food is prepared and cooked. Next, we have kitchen wares. Kitchen wares are the utensils used in a kitchen. Remember I mentioned utensils. Utensils are tools used in a kitchen, like your fork, your spoon, and your knife. Also, we have pantry. A pantry is a small room or closet in which foodstuff, groceries, and other items are stored. Next, we have Laundry room. A laundry room is a room where clothes are washed. Next, we have bathroom. A bathroom is a room containing a bath or shower and sometimes a toilet. Next, we have shower. A shower is a fixed equipment in the bathroom that releases drops of water through small holes. Moving on, we have bedroom. A bedroom is a room furnished with a bed for sleeping. Next, we have wardrobe. A wardrobe is a large cabinet in which clothes are stored. Next, we have mirror. A mirror is a glass which reflects a clear image of a person or thing. And lastly, for words associated with home, we have cupboard. A cupboard is a piece of furniture that has a door and shelves used for storage. Now I'm sure most of these things you know already, 
But now, let's take a look at words associated with family life. A family is a group of people related by blood, marriage, or adoption that live together as one. Now, let's take a look at the words associated with family life. First, we have parents. A parent is a person's father or mother, like we have here, a mother and a father. Next, we have mother. A mother is a female parent that gave birth to or raised a child. Next, we have father. A father is a male parent. Also, we have offspring. Offspring is a person's child or children, like we have here, two children. Moving on, we have child. A child is a young person between the age of infancy and teenage years. While more than one child is called children. Next, we have daughter. A daughter is a girl or woman in relation to her parents. On the other hand, a son is a male offspring of his parents. Next, we have sister. A sister is a woman or girl who has one or both parents in common with other offsprings. The brother, on the other hand, is a man or boy in relation to other sons and daughters of his parents. Next, we have grandparents. Grandparents are the father or mother of a person's parents. Next, we have grandmom. Grandmom is the mother of a person's mother or father. Also, we have granddad. Granddad is the father of a person's mother or father. Next, we have husband. A husband is a married man or a male partner in a marriage while the wife is a female partner in a marriage. Next, we have uncle. An uncle is a brother of someone's father or mother or the husband of one's aunt. Next, we have auntie. A person's auntie is a sister of a person's father or mother or the wife of one's uncle. Next, we have niece. A niece is the daughter of a person's brother or sister or one's brother-in-law or sister-in-law. While the nephew is the son of a person's brother or sister or one's brother-in-law or sister-in-law. Next, we have cousin. A cousin is a son or daughter of one's uncle or auntie. Also, we have mother-in-law. A mother-in-law is the mother of one's husband or wife. Next, we have father-in-law. A father-in-law is the father of one's husband or wife. Also, we have daughter-in-law. A daughter-in-law is a woman who is married to someone's child. And lastly, for the vocabulary associated with family life, we have son-in-law. A son-in-law is the husband of someone's child. I'm sure most of these words are not new to you. I know this serves as a reminder. Now, let's move on to see vocabulary associated with activities in the home. Words associated with activities in the home include laundry. Laundry is the art of washing and ironing clothes or fabrics. Next, we have gardening. Gardening is the act of tending and cultivating a garden. Moving on, we have mowing. Mowing is the act of cutting the surface of a grass or plant that grows on the ground with a machine called a lawn mower. Next, we have scrubbing. Scrubbing is a process of rubbing a surface hard so as to clean and remove stains from it. This can be done by using a brush and water. Lastly, we have vacuuming. This is the act of using a vacuum cleaner to clean a surface.
This is where we end the class for today. But before we go, let's take a quick summary of all we've learned so far. We've learned that vocabulary is a body of words used in a particular language, circumstance, field of study, or activity. Also, we learned that there are different words associated with home and family life. Going on, we learned that words associated with home include house, living room, furniture, upholstery, shelf, chair, table, curtain, kitchen, kitchen words, dining room, and so on. We also learned that words associated with family life include parents, mother, father, offspring, child, children, daughter, son, sister, brother, grandparents, grandmom, granddad, and so on. Lastly, for this lesson, we learned that there are some words representing activities in the home, namely laundry, gardening, mowing, scrubbing, and so on. Now, before we go, let's answer some test questions. Question one, a place in a house where you can relax and entertain guests is called a, a bedroom, B, a living room, C, a pantry, or D, a dining room. The correct answer is B, a living room. Question two, what is your mother's brother's daughter called? A, niece. B, cousin, C, nephew, or D, auntie. The correct answer is B, cousin. I'm sure with these, you can communicate better while talking about things relating to family life and home. Until we meet again in our next class, See you and bye.